everyone, I am back with another video, a different type of video because as you can see you are looking at my, my desktop <laughs> on my laptop. <clears throat> so what I'm going to actually do today is show you how I print and cut stickers on my silhouette. I'm not actually going to show you the printing and the cutting, but I'm going to show you everything that I do inside the Silhouette Studio. This is Windows 10. I don't have a Mac, so I'm not sure how different the Mac and the Windows are for the Silhouette Studio, but just so you know, this is Windows 10, and I don't have the designer edition of the Silhouette Studio. I just have whatever came with my portrait. So I'm going to go ahead and just open it up. Always takes a minute to load. So there is the version that I have. Mine is updated. I do do the updates on it, but like I said, I don't have the designer edition. Just the basic Silhouette Studio. Okay, so when it opens up, this is what you see. Um, unless you've got the Cameo, you'll see a 12 by 12 mat. First thing you're going to do after you purchase any printables or go get free printables, you'll want to save them into a folder where you're going to be able to find them. So you're going to go over to this open folder here and you're going to open it. Then you're actually going to, like all of my planner stickers, be it purchased or free, are in a folder called planner stickers, just so I can find them easier. These are all my planner stickers. I also have a couple of folders in here that I make my own planner stickers, so they're in here also. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is the easiest one to pretty much start out with, which is this Me DS. Now, her shop is over on Etsy and it's called Me Digi Scrap, and she has got some really, really super cute printables. And I'm going to just pick one here. Let's go ahead and do some of her older files when she started making planner stickers. Do not have cut files with them, so you will have to figure out. You'll have to trace over all of them, and I could do another video of that because I've had to do it myself with some that don't come with a cut file. So if you guys want to see that, just let me know. Um, I'm going to try to pick one now that has a cut file. I think this strawberries do. Let's do the strawberries. So we're going to open the file, yes, and in this one you get three 8.5 by 11 sheets that you can print and cut. So there's two on the top. Here's two here, and the reason you get two is one is a PNG and one is a JPEG. So this one is a JPEG, the other one is a PNG. And then here's the third one. And this blank file here that doesn't look like it's anything, that's the cut file with the lines in it, the cut lines. So let's go ahead and just pick out this one, and then it should just pull it up. So there we have the actual file that we want to print and cut. So all you would have to do is you need to come up here and we have to make sure that we put our registration marks on. And we're going to hit the top one that says type 1 where it says cameo, portrait, and curio. Then there are the registration marks, but as you can see they go over into where you want to print. So that's easily fixable. You come down here under position and you pull every one of these to the left and it's going to move the lines. So now you are in the clear. I'm going to zoom in to show you guys that a little bit better. So right here, you want to be outside of this gray marks here and you want to be outside of the gray marks over here. Otherwise it will not print correctly. So we're going to go ahead and zoom back out. One more, there we go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open again, so come over here to the folder, we're going to open the cut file or the cut lines I guess I should say. 
for this particular page, which is right here. Strawberry to cut lines. So it's going to open in a separate box. Here we go. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hit select all. Then you're going to hit group down here, group selected shapes. Okay, the reason we had to do that is because we need to resize this. So we're going to come over here to our scale window. Then under the width, we're going to type in 11 and hit apply. So there it has scaled it perfectly to match our other file. So we're going to come over here and we're going to hit copy. We're going to go back to the first one and we're going to hit paste. So as you can see, let me zoom in, it added these darker lines here as our cut lines. Pretty cool. <laughs> so we're going to zoom back out. And the only other thing that you need to do is just hit your printer and it should find your printer, whatever your default printer is. Then you would just go ahead and hit print or change any preferences that you need to change at the time and then hit print. I'm not going to print. I'm just going to show you. So then this would all be printed out and it does not print the cut lines just so you know it just prints the images then you will take your sheet after it comes out of your printer and you want to print this on a full sheet of sticker paper if you want stickers out of it so once it's printed you will attach it to your mat just like you see here and then you would come over here after loading it into your silhouette and you will hit cut settings So it's going to highlight your cut lines. Then you're going to scroll down where it says material type and you're going to go all the way to the bottom and hit white sticker paper. This one says silhouette brand but honestly I've had two different brands in here. I've used Avery and then a brand that I buy online and I don't, it doesn't matter what brand it is. So hit sticker paper then you're going to come back down and under blade type for your ratchet blade you want to make sure this is set to one and you also want to make sure that the blade in your actual silhouette is set to one also I tried two and it would cut all the way through so I've set mine at one and it always works at one but you have to have them both at the same setting it's got to say one on here and it has to be one on the actual machine then you will just hit send to silhouette which I'm not going to do because I don't have mine on so then it should load up it's going to read all of the registration marks here it's going to read these three registration marks and then it will cut right where you see all the red marks on here and then when you pull it off, the backing should be intact and then you should be able to peel off your stickers and use them as you like. So there you go. That is exactly how I print and cut my stickers on my silhouette portrait. Like I said, I can show you guys how to um, do one that doesn't have cut lines because I've had to do some of those where I've had to create my own cut lines and um, it's a little bit time consuming but it's worth it if you really want the stickers and then I've also made my own stickers so let me know if you guys want to see anything else and if you have any questions just let me know and I will try to answer as best as I can I'm still kind of new at this but um, just figured I would share what I do know with you guys in kind of a simple way so there you go. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Like I said, I will try to answer them as best as I can, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!